this edition of NFC Tags 101 How To Videos. I'm going to show you a really cool advanced thing you can do. That's set up a location based NFC tag. So you can use one of your uh, Andy Tags NFC tags and you can set it up so that when you're in different locations and you tap it, it does a different thing. Now when I say different location, I don't mean within your house. I mean really different locations. So this might be a tag you put in your car or in this example I'm going to use a keychain that you would have with you wherever you go. Now to do this we're going to use the app Llama. Llama is a free app. It's not just an NFC app but it does uh, have an NFC trigger and probably one of the most advanced NFC apps you can use as you'll see with what we're about to do. So first let's click the areas tab you can see I have several areas set up um, already. I have dog park, home, and post office. Um, if you needed to set up a new one, you would just click the plus button at the bottom and follow the instructions to set up a new one and have uh, Llama learn that location when you're in it. So we're going to use the locations that I already have set up. We're going to go to events. We're going to click plus to do a new event. And we're going to give the event a name. This is going to be home. NFC key. So we're going to use a keychain. There's not going to be a group for this. We're going to click OK. So that's the name of it. It's enabled. And so we're going to go with uh, conditions. So we're going to add a condition. First condition is going to be uh, NFC. So let's go NFC tag detected. Now uh, you can use any NFC tag you've already set up or you can do a new one. We're going to format a new tag. So we're going to take this uh, keychain and we're going to tap it to the back. It says it's so successfully formatted. Use this tag and we're going to name it key one. So I already have one named keychain. We're going to click OK. So do you want to use the key one in this condition? Yes. So that's the first one. And now we're going to add a second condition. The second condition is uh, going to be location. Uh, either you enter the area or you're in the area. So we'll select that and we'll select home. And we'll select OK. Now you can select an action. What do you want it to do? Add action. So when I tap my keychain and I'm at home, what do I want it to do? Well, let's see. Maybe I want to uh, turn off the GPS. GPS off. Add another action. Maybe I want to make sure Wi-Fi is on. So I can go to Wi-Fi and say Wi-Fi on. Maybe you want to add another action. You can see there's a lot of different actions that you have here that you can use. Um, if you have Tasker on your phone, you can also trigger a Tasker task this way by running an app shortcut. Uh, maybe when I'm home, I want to make sure my screen brightness is on auto in case I had it on high when I was in my car. And let's see, is there anything else I want to do when I'm at home? Uh, maybe I want to make sure... Eh, that's probably enough. I mean, there's a lot of other things you can do, but let's just leave it at that for now. And so then we're going to go back. And uh, you see right here in the list, home NFC key. And you'll see that uh, at home is green because that condition is met. We are at home. However, NFC tag hasn't been detected. When it is detected, it will do those things. But we're going to add a new event. So let's add another event. Condition number one is going to be NFC. So let's see, NFC tag detected. We're going to use the same that same keychain, so key one, and then we're going to add another condition, and this is going to be enter in area. 
and let's say uh, dog park. And now what are the actions? Well, what do we want to do when we get to the dog park? Uh, perhaps, let's see, um, profile, loud. We want to make sure everything is really loud when we're at the dog park. And if you choose advanced, you can also set it so that it makes sure that uh, if you have other things using a llama to change your sound, you could also make sure that it uh, locks it for a certain amount of time. But we don't need that. We just want to make sure that uh, when we tap it at the dog park, it changes everything to loud. And we could add another action. Uh, maybe when we're at the dog park, uh, we know that we don't need to have Wi-Fi on. So we select Wi-Fi off. You could add, again, whatever you wanted to add. And then... Oh, there we go. I didn't actually choose the profile because I went to advanced before. So now I have the profile out, profile loud and Wi-Fi off. So now I'm going to go back. So uh, you can see that has been set up right here. And then, when the NFC tag key one is detected at the dog park, you do this. So now we can add a third one. Add condition. NFC tag detected. Key one. And second condition will be enter in area and we'll do post office. Now for this one, Add action. This one isn't going to be a phone thing. What we're going to do is we're going to ch we're going to trigger uh, a list opening. So I'm going to go to uh, Run App Shortcut. It's going to open up all my possible app shortcuts. I'm going to go to uh, Note Everything. And I'm going to select, I don't have a post office list, so I'm just going to select Walmart. And there you go. So now, on the bottom you can see, when the NFC tag key one is detected, and I'm at the post office, it'll run a shortcut Walmart, which basically would open that note from Note Everything. So that could be a list that I keep of things I need when I get there. But it will only open that list when I tap the NFC keychain and I'm in that location. Once I've had it learn that location. So this is cool because now I have this one NFC tag. When I tap it, it will do different things depending on where I am. Right now, because I'm at home, as you can see home is green, when I tap it, it's going to execute that. And you see that turned green. And you can see down on the bottom, NFC tag key one detected turned green, but because the dog park or the post office wasn't green, those things didn't trigger. Only the things that uh, uh, were here, which is disable GPS, enable Wi-Fi, and set to automatic brightness. Um, and GPS, you actually can't always disable the GPS unless you have uh, uh, root access on some phones so it's not going to be able to do that but let me turn my my uh, auto brightness off and let me uh, disable my Wi-Fi here okay so Wi-Fi is off now that way you can see that this works when I tap this So let's see if it did the things. Wi-Fi is back on and auto brightness is back on. So now let's see what it does when I tap this and I'm at the post office. Okay, so here we are at the post office and you might remember we set up so that when we tap that same keychain and we're at the post office, oops, 
uh, it runs a shortcut Walmart. And you can see at the post office is green. Uh, so Llama knows we're at the post office. So if we're at the post office and here's the same keychain and we tap the keychain, then it opens the shortcut to the Walmart list. So I use post office because that's just where I go every day so I set that up but you could set up the location for Walmart and then have it open your Walmart list or the grocery store and have it open your grocery store list um, of course that's dependent upon what note uh, app you use the note app I use allows you to create shortcuts to a specific note and so that's what I did in Llama I chose shortcut and created a shortcut to that specific note which is triggered when this NFC tag is tapped and I'm in the specific location of the post office that was cool. So now let's see what happens when I tap this when I'm at the dog park. Okay, so here we are at the dog park, and you can tell because in Llama, uh, dog park is green, so it knows we're at the dog park. And remember, we set up this NFC tag, uh, same keychain, same tag, and we set it up so that when we're at the dog park, it changes the profile to loud and disables Wi Fi. So, first, let's see. Uh, you can see Wi-Fi is on, and I'm going to turn all my volume levels down so we can see the difference. So, let's go to my home screen, and I'm going to tap this tag. You couldn't hear it because all the volumes are down, but if you can see, Wi-Fi has been turned off. And when you look at my sound profiles my ringer volume and notification volume have been turned all the way up uh, which is what it is set to do with the loud so you can see it triggered that specific thing because we are at the dog park and it knew it so as you can see you can have one tag you can use the keychain or you might have a tag in your car and you could have it do different things in different locations if you want to get more fancy you could also add um, possibly add time parameters, especially if you're working with Tasker, so that the tag only does a certain thing at a certain location between different times. So it may do one thing when you're getting out of your car in the morning, and you tap it in the morning, it may do something else when you tap it in the evening, but then do something totally different if you're not at work, if you're at home when you tap it, even during the same times. So, but this is basically focusing on the fact that you can use one NFC tag to trigger different events based on your location using the app Llama.